Hello everybody, it's Polar Stranger here today. I'm going to give a video of what I know about Springtrap and also what's on the Wikipedia. But with that said, I will leave the information on the Wikipedia in the description and let's go to know what I know. And I'm interested in what you guys know about Springtrap, Purple Guy and the history. This video may reference to other theorists out there, so let's see if you can spot them. So, first off, what do we know about Springtrap? We know Springtrap was an early model of Bonnie. And as we know, Springtrap, the animatronic suit, has spring lock mechanisms. And if those spring locks fail, it can cause a fatality death. And that is not nice if you're in there. The suit's pretty much more or less designed as it is the first generation suits for an exoskeleton and person to go inside the suit. So basically, the key or gear grinder or whatever to use to take the exoskeleton out and put on the costume, which is basically the person. But because they were so not safe and they were seriously dangerous, were decommissioned early and were thrown back at the back of the rooms that no one knows about, not even the security guard. We do know that the purple guy who put on the suit and used it to kill the children. There is a bit of a debate if it was he used Freddy Fazbear or Golden Freddy to murder the children or the spring trap suit, but my more or less guess it was the spring trap suit that, no, sorry about that, I meant Golden Freddy suit that he used to murder the children and spring trap suit was going to be used for later murders. Now obviously we do know that the suit is built for a person. It has five fingers, or technical term, four fingers and a thumb, which most people have. Well, everyone has. And it's size for the human body, and not size for an exoskeleton. So, let's hope to the next part of, well, what do we know about Purple, Con purple Guy? Ugh, no, I said it wrong. Yeah, what do we know about Purple Guy? We know Purple Guy was involved with the murders. Bit specific on the pink guy, but we'll mostly focus on him. He has murdered overall six children the marionette, the four other characters, and the Golden Freddy child. Because of these murders, the children wanted him dead. But the problem is, we don't know who he is. We know he was an employee at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, the second game. He was an employee. He had access, probably, to the restaurant, and with the mini games, he probably came in, and probably Malfun made the animatronics screwed up and tried to cause trouble. And when phone guy, phone guy referenced that a yellow suit was taken, maybe he was referring, or was it golden? I think it was yellow or golden suit, and he must have been referencing, reference to purple, no, what the hell am I saying, no, Golden Freddy or Spring Trap, there we go, now if that's correct or not, we do not know, as there's something different between those, we definitely know that a feeling that purple guy was around, more likely in the first game, the second, Five Nights 2, Five Nights 1, and more or less Five Nights 3, and maybe even a Five Nights 6? I don't know, the timeline's confused as hell, but he will return sometime. But as we know, that one night may be in a different type of pizzeria, as we know in the mini game, that Bonnie is blue. And they look like the toy animatronics, so maybe it's another restaurant before Five Nights 1. Or, I don't really know, I better do a video on that. But, if you know what I'm getting, then yeah. So as we know, he was repairing the suit so he can kill more children. But he didn't realise that the five children came back and 
scared the living shit out of him. And then he put on the suit, and then something bad happened. Warning, what you're gonna hear is very disturbing, so here it is. Well, let's head on to the next thing, the history of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a very hard debate as we know we have more information. Springtrap and Golden Freddy were the first generation animatronics for Fredbear's family diner. And they were, obviously, must have been the main characters of the story. We know about Golden Freddy as the first Freddy Fazbear and Springtrap as the first Bonnie the first generation of the animatronics before we had our other cast. There is a timeline here as you can see. I did found another one which actually introduced the spring trap and other animatronics but I start, can't seem to find it at the moment. Well, at the minute I'm making this so yeah that's a pain in the ass. But you can see from here and use your imagination that well we can kind of see how the history has gone. Now, as Phone Guy stated, there are four pizzerias. There was Fred Bear's, the rotten, depressing one, Five Nights 2, and Five Nights 1. But we, this other location, which is not a pizzeria, a horror attraction, is where the third game is, which is a sequel. So we had a prequel and now we have a sequel, so where the story carries on could be another sequel or another prequel, and that's something we need to know. What we also do know is that the posters on the walls on the first game of Five Nights about the children disappearing, the stinking odour of the animatronics, and also the murderer. You could pause here and read it, but unless most everyone has seen this. Now, as it is correct, Purple Guy more or less murdered the children horribly, and maybe in a certain way that nobody wants to know. But it's very scary. We also know that Bonnie is a strange character. Someone has recently found one of the Freddy heads, the Generation 1 Freddy, not Golden Freddy, from the first Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria in the first game. I'm not even joking, I'll leave a link down there in the description. So, I could go on hours and hours and hours of the game, but I will think I'll have to write a script for that, and my reading's not that good. But what we know is that Springtrap is purple guy. Springtrap is the first Bonnie, the generation. And with the game having two endings, Metro Gaslight and 2033 reference, we don't know where Scott can take this. We don't know if it's the actual end for it. But also, if you brighten up the Fazbear Fright Burnt Down poster, or this, as you can see, Springtrap still remains in a public auction. So where Scott can take it, nobody knows. But I am looking forward to the next game. So here's my question to you guys. What do you know about Springtrap? If you do know, leave a comment down below. Now more or less, some of this could be out of date or I could be just being stupid, but this is what I know. So don't go all criticism or such. Just, I want to hear what you guys know. And put in the comment biggest words as you can, because I am curious of what you guys know. And please note, don't be criticism to what anyone says in the descriptions. Well, in the comments. 
But with that said, thank you very much for watching my video. This is a pain in the backside to make, but thank you and enjoy.